Welcome to the Genome Industrial Equipment video training series. This video will serve as an introduction to the features and operation of the JP4 series servo press. Our user-friendly flagship model servo press features advanced precision and control. In addition to various pressing functions, it features a wide range of quality control systems and allows you to create highly efficient production lines. In this video, we will use the standalone unit to examine the main parts of the system, setup, basic operations, program teaching, PC setup, judgment functions, and saving data for backup. Click on any menu item to skip ahead to your desired topic. There are three types of electropress, the standalone, head, and unit types, with the pressing capacity ranging from 0.5 to 120 kilonewtons. They are each equipped with I.O. for controlling various systems and are designed for a wide variety of uses from automation systems to desktop use. With an AC servo motor, precise ball screw, and original load cell incorporated into the RAM, the electropress performs clean and quiet pressing and accurate positioning. These are housed in the main body supported by a column with a flat base. The switch box located here displays a two-hand start button system as well as an emergency stop switch. The power breaker is located on the side near the model information label. This includes the serial number and polarity specification. The operation panel at the front serves as the main operator interface. We see a power lamp and an alarm speaker above a compact LCD screen. Below the keyboard are the Home Position Return Switch and Select Key Switch, allowing program editing to be limited to authorized personnel only. The rear panel contains the available connectors. The ElectroPress comes with a standard RS-232C and optional serial Ethernet connector to transmit data to a personal computer for quality analysis and other purposes. The I.O. Sys connector allows for external systems via discrete control. The IOS port connects to area sensors such as a light curtain. For power, the single phase models have an inlet, and the three phase option comes with a power cable connected directly to your 180 to 250 volt AC power source. And this concludes the section for the main parts of the system. Be sure to check the detailed setup manual for safety and environment considerations while setting up the electropress. To protect the press from damage, make sure all power is off while connecting or disconnecting wires. Attach the supplied IOS connector and power cable. These are the minimum connections required to power on your system. The optional Ethernet connection can be made for serial communication, as well as the IO sys cable for discrete IO capability. This concludes the setup section. In this section, the basic operations and sensor functions of the electropress will be explained. The press is equipped with various operation modes. The following example will utilize a standard spring and die set. The following are the basic four positions during operation. Number one, home position, the initial position of the RAM. Number two, work home position, the position to reduce operation time for each program. Number three, start position, the position just before the RAM touches the workpiece. And number four, the end position, the position where the pressing is completed. We will now examine the constant speed set stop position mode in detail. When the start switches are pressed, the RAM will descend from the home position A to the start position B at the approach speed. The RAM will then descend slowly at the probe speed until it touches the workpiece. After the RAM reaches the touching load C, the speed will change to the pressing speed and the RAM will descend to the end position D and will perform the pressing. After the holding time E at the end position, the RAM will ascend to the work home position F. This is the end of one cycle of operation. The next cycle will be started from the work home position. The operation mode constant speed set stop position is effective for pressing the workpiece to a set position. 
The constant speed set stop load is useful for thrust fitting. In this mode, the ram will stop at the position where it has detected the preset load instead of the end position. Other movements are the same as those in the constant speed set stop position mode. A variety of operation modes are available. Use the mode that suits your requirements. The next section will cover program teaching methods. Programming can be accomplished through the operation panel when the selector key is switched to teaching mode. When the press is powered on, the following message is displayed. Press the home position return switch slowly. The message returning to home position will be displayed on the LCD screen and the RAM will slowly ascend to the home position. After the RAM has reached home position, the message shown will be displayed. This message will appear if there is no program that contains teaching data. If there is any program that contains teaching data, the program selected when the electropress was turned off will be displayed. In that case, press the program number key to display the program selection screen. To create a new program, press F2 New and enter an available program number. You will then be prompted to enter the main constraints of the program. In the case of constant speed set stop position mode, Enter pressing speed, max pressure, work home position, start position, end position, and holding time. When finished, the program base screen is displayed. To change from the default values, simply use the cursor to move the selection up and down and press enter to edit. Use the number pad on the operation panel to edit numeric values. This screen describes the minimum increments for each metric. The position entry screen is used to enter values such as the work home position and start position. There are two types of position entry modes. One is jog mode and the other is manual data input mode or MDI. On the position entry screen in the MDI mode, the current RAM position and load will also be displayed as reference values. The RAM can be incrementally jogged into place using the start buttons to create a new position. To do this in the position entry screen, press both start switches to lower the RAM. When the RAM reaches the target position, release one of the switches to stop the movement. Release both start switches to raise the RAM. Fine tune the RAM's position using this method. When the position is adjusted, release one of the start switches and press the J use key to fix the location. Using the methods in this section, a user-created program can be made. COM communication via RS-232C is standard with all JP4 models. Ethernet is an optional communication method that we will cover in this video. To ensure successful communication, manually set your PC IP address. To do this, Select Control Panel from the Start button menu and select Network and Sharing Center to bring up the following screen. Click on the Ethernet Local Area Connection and select Properties. Confirm whether the Internet Protocol version 4 checkbox is selected and if the checkbox is not selected, check it and click the OK button in order to save the changes. Select Internet Protocol version 4 and click the Properties button. The Internet Protocol version 4 window is displayed. Click Use the following IP address and set the IP address manually. Set the subnet mask as 255.255.255.0. It is not necessary to set the default gateway. It's recommended that private IP address class C is used. However, you cannot set 0 and 255 in the fourth set of three numbers. In this example, 231 are used in the third and fourth sets respectively. Click OK to set your values. With the JP4 and PC connected, start JP Designer. Select your model specifications. The ElectroPress IP addresses must be registered in JP Designer or JP Sampler. If this information is registered in either program, the other automatically uploads the registered information. From the drop-down Press menu in the menu bar, click Press Registration. Click Add 
and select Ethernet and fill in the required fields. Choose an appropriate name for the press and match the IP address with the ElectroPress setting. To find out the ElectroPress IP address, make sure the press is in teaching mode and press the mode key. Select version information and the IP address is located at the bottom of the screen. To change the IP address, return to the main screen and press the menu key. Select System Settings and hold Shift down to enter the second screen of menu items. Select Ethernet setting and IP address setting. Here the values can be modified. With the ElectroPress IP address, the press can be registered in JP Designer. Click OK, close, and the registration is complete. Multiple presses may be registered, so a main press must be set. To do this, select Main Press Settings from the Press drop-down menu. Select a registered press as the main press. To check the communication, click System Info from the Press menu. This window indicates successful communication between the press and PC. This will be used in the next section to create judgment functions. The ElectroPress has various sensor functions. In this section, the load judgment within a position range in the constant speed set stop position mode will be explained. By setting the sensor range, the ElectroPress can monitor the load continuously. The sensor allowable range can be set by designating the upper and lower load limits at the sensor start and end positions. If the load falls outside the sensor allowable range, the RAM will ascend and an alarm will sound. The LCD screen will display a fault sign as well as the load and position information when the fault occurred. If the press is set to record data, the sampling file will contain this information as well. Other sensor settings are the position judgment at the start position, distance judgment at the end position, and load sensor at the end position. Load sampling modes such as peak, bottom, etc. are also available. For other modes, other sensor settings are available. Select the desired sensor settings for your purpose. To set a sensor window, it's best to use actual workpiece data retrieved from several cycles. The following example assumes that you are pressing a pin into a workpiece to a preset depth. A punch is attached to the RAM and the movement conditions are set to the constant speed set stop position mode. A ball bearing is pressed through a bushing made of several materials. Data retrieval is achieved through the sampler program. Set the active press in the press pull down menu. Multiple presses can be active for sampling with the proper connections. Each active press will occupy one section of the screen. To specify a file location, click the Specify Sampling File icon. Click Change to modify the file location for the sampling data which will be input into a .csv file. Click Sampling Time Settings to adjust the sampling resolution time interval. The ElectroPress can output a maximum of 20,000 data points with a minimum 1 millisecond interval. Click the QT icon, which represents quality and time series data, and JP Sampler is ready to record the information. In the press run mode, run the desired program. The JP Sampler program will have a window that changes color to blue for a successful run, or red in the case of an error. Double click the colored window to see the load position graph, as well as cycle history. This screen may act as a monitor during operation. In the main window, click the stop icon to close the program. Open JP Designer and click Receive Data from the Press drop-down menu. Once the press settings have downloaded, click Open Sampling File from the File menu. Locate the .csv sampling file and the load position graph will appear in the top window. Click Add Sensor from the Edit drop-down menu. Select the program number and sensor type. As stated earlier, a wide range of sensor types are available. Click the OK button and the sensor will be added to a program tree on the left. Set the window parameters around the graph features that you would like to control. In this example, for sensor load position range, the sensor beginning and end positions are set relative to mechanical home. 
the upper and lower load limits are set at the ends of this range. The sensor will activate if the range limits are violated. As an alternative to manual input, click on the corners of the window to drag them. In this example, only one cycle is used for reference. When specifying your system, multiple cycles will improve knowledge of the tolerances involved. Once the judgment windows have been created, send data to the press for program testing. Open JP Sampler and change the sensor CPK setting to valid in the view menu. Click the QT icon to ready the program for data collection. Run the press program and you will be able to view the results in the sampler program window. At the highest data resolution setting, the load position data is transmitted in seconds. This data is also available in the front panel screen by pressing the display button twice. To demonstrate an undesired variant, a smaller ball bearing is used. The press fault conditions may be set to stop on fault, or in this example, continue on fault. When the sensor window conditions are violated by the small ball bearing, the RAM ascends and the alarm sounds. The data is output to JP Sampler. Check the box marked Graph Overlapping to see the historical data. Both the graph and the cycle history show a lower limit sensor error in this example. When the standard ball bearing is reloaded, the sensor conditions are met. In JP Sampler, the red line representing the most recent graph data is updated. Use these sensors to specify your quality control. To save teaching data and press settings from potential loss or to upload data from one machine to another, use JP Designer to save and upload the backup data. Open the JP Designer software and receive press data from the press drop-down menu. Click Save as Teaching File from the File menu and specify the file location. To open existing teaching data, click Open Teaching File from the File menu. Send data to the press. Sending data overwrites the current press data. Be sure to receive data as a backup before any new data is sent. This concludes the introductory training on the Genome JP4 series Servo Press. Thank you for watching.